Hey, in this video I wanted to do a small demo on a package that I'm working on. I mean, it's not ready at the moment, but uh, I wanted to share a little bit of what it does. And then I wanted to eventually have it available in, in LPAR or another, you know, package server or whatever that makes it uh, easy for people to install if they think it's useful to them. Um, it basically turns Emacs into a model editor, but using Emacs bindings. So what I mean by that is that we know that control N goes to the next line and control P goes to the previous line. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to have a way to just press N and P to go to the respective functions without having to press the control key. And I did that by creating a minor mode that actually maps those bindings, right? So N goes to the next line and P goes to the previous line. Um, it works for, I don't think I have everything covered at the moment, but for the most part, for navigational purposes, it does. So E goes to the end of the line and A goes to the beginning of the line. Um, and you can expect that for pretty much every other, you know, uh, Emacs default binding that you can think of. Maybe not all of them, like I said, but for the most part, it, it works. Um, you, I also bound, uh, you know, F to forward work. And I do have to, you know, specify this. The main idea was to have, you know, lowercase keys bound to their respective control plus key uh, reference. And the uppercase key is bound to meta and the key reference, right? So in that sense, F should be bound to forward chart instead of forward work. But because I think that I, I do forward word more often, I think that it's more useful in that sense, but this is something that can be, can be uh, you know, changed quite easily if, if that's what somebody will want, right? Um, and overall, that is, you know, the whole idea behind it. For instance, uh, uppercase N is bound to next uh, buffer and uppercase P is bound to previous buffer. You know, those are just some things that I, that I think that are a lot easier if you have them available directly instead of having to press control X and the arrow. I, I think that um, that key binding is not so accessible. Um, I also have uh, from one through five, a custom set of bindings. I'm, I'm sorry, from one through through three, it's actually just your, your regular thing. Something that you will do with control X, uh, one control X two and so on. So one deletes the other windows, two splits the window. Uh, three splits the window vertically and four is actually a custom thing where it splits the window and goes to uh, to find file and five splits the window vertically and goes to the find file as well right and six seven eight don't do anything i i just have a dummy function that outputs uh the the message to it right bra um, and zero deletes the window and that's about it let me delete the rest of them. I also have another mode, which is resizing. Um, and let me split the windows one more time. I can activate it with CWR and that allows me to, you know, resize the windows as you might expect, just like this, right? Um, I don't use it as often, but it's sometimes good if you want to do a quick resize. Uh, I don't know, I, I like using it sometimes. So I, I thought it was an interesting idea. Um, also, I have U bound to the universal command prefix. So that means that you can do multiple uh, things with, with my bindings. If you press U, then one, two, and go to N, then it doesn't do it properly. So those are, those are the types of things that I want to, to fix. Because if you do it with control N, then it actually happens. So I have to find a way to better approach this. Um, it's, it's not like, like that in every single, uh, you know, key binding, for instance, if I do, uh, you know, the universal command, uh, two F, it actually goes forward two words. So I need to look into these small details and, and polish them properly before, you know, submitting the package. Um, but I do wanted to do a small demo so that people can, can look at it. I mean, they, they might find something useful and, um, if, I mean, that, that's the end goal at the end of the day, just share ideas and pieces of software. Um, 
I also have it so that it works with X applications. As, as you know, I'm using EXWM. So if I fire up a terminal, for instance, you can see that I'm in char mode and I can switch to line mode with the same key that I'm using, which is um, the key next to the one, to the left of the one. And in here I can actually activate my, my commands as you saw on the EXWM video. And I can switch back and do my edits. I can deactivate it, I can split the window, I can go back to it, I can switch between the windows with Q. You know, I have, there are not too many bindings, but they're, they're quite heavily customized in that sense. Um, you can take a look if you're interested. And if you do give it a shot and you have questions or just, you know, you wanna ask something about Emacs, I might have the answer. I'm not like a super guru, but I, I might have some insight on if you're experiencing a problem or, you know, whatever. And with that, I think that's the end of the video and, you know, thank you for watching.